What's up brand builders, Stephen Horahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn what brand extension is and how to leverage it. So you can use the reputation of the brand that you're building to expand and grow across multiple categories. Now, if you're new to the channel and you wanna build brands that go beyond the visuals and the logo using strategy, psychology, and creative thinking, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you wanna fast track your results, make sure you grab the Pro Brand Strategy Blueprint. It's a free download and the link is in the description. Now, a brand can be and has been defined as many different things. Now, some things I agree with, other things I don't, but one philosophy I certainly subscribe to is that your brand is your reputation. And the reputation of your brand is exactly the asset that the brand extension strategy aims to leverage. So what exactly is a brand extension strategy? Well, it's a strategy used by established brands who have taken the time to develop their brand and establish a reputation in the market and develop brand equity to push into other categories where they don't have that same reputation. So essentially what they try to do is leverage the reputation within the market that they do have to expand and push into new markets and establish themselves there. Now, one of the most famous examples of a brand extension strategy, one of the most successful examples as well would be Nike. Now, Nike established its reputation as a running shoe company. First, as Blue Ribbon. Phil Knight was the founder of Blue Ribbon, which later turned into Nike. And Nike was famous for running shoes. That's how they established the reputation, but they used that reputation to push into different categories, to push into different sports from swimming to golf. And now today they're across about 30 major categories, sports categories and lifestyle categories. So they've used the brand equity and the reputation of the Nike brand to push and expand into all of these other categories. So why use a brand extension strategy? Well, ultimately, it's about the opportunity to grow and expand the brand. So there needs to be an opportunity in another category, and there needs to also be the possibility that the brand will be adopted within that category. Now, the brand may or may not, not have any kind of experience within that category that it's expanding into, but the more experience and the more relevance it has expanding into that category, the more chance that it has of being adopted within that category and being adopted by its own audience and the audience of that category itself. So why and when should a brand extension strategy be used? Well, ultimately it's about opportunity. It's about the opportunity for the brand to expand and grow. And it does that by crossing lines and pushing into a new category. Now, first of all, there has to be an opportunity to push into that category. There has to be a demand for the product or service that it's going to develop to push across into that category. The second thing that has to be there for the why and when would you use a brand extension strategy is it has to have the chance of being adopted. Yes, it will have a reputation in the marketplace for the name it has established for itself, but whether or not that translates and transfers into the new category really depends on who the audience is, what they're looking for, and whether or not they value the reputation that the brand has already established within its own category. So there are a few different conditions there, but if there is a chance that the audience will reject the brand for pushing into that new category and extending into that new marketplace, then it can potentially damage the brand. So what are the advantages of a successful brand extension strategy? Well, the advantages are endless. It really is blue sky here. And all you have to do is look at Nike and how Nike has effectively used a brand extension strategy. If you're able to push into a new category that can create a new audience and it can lead to other extensions for the brand as well. And all of this can lead to increased brand awareness, increased reputation and equity, and of course, increased market share. But there are many risks to the brand extension strategy as well. And many brands have fallen flat here. There are many examples of brands who have tried an extension strategy and it has fallen flat. And one of the main risks is damaging the original reputation of the brand, the original brand equity that it had, and damaging that relationship that it has with its audience. If a brand attempts to expand into a new category, it's essentially telling its audience, we thought you wanted this and you didn't. So we don't really understand who you are and what you really want from us. So there are long lasting 
damages that can happen from a failed extension strategy, so they do need to be considered. Now, as I said, there are many examples of failed brand extension strategies, and one of those examples is Cosmopolitan Magazine. Now, Cosmopolitan Magazine, back in the late 90s, began to extend different lines. They extended into the fashion industry, and that was relatively adopted, but when they extended into the food industry through the Cosmopolitan Yogurt, that was a step too far. It was okay for some of the readers to wear cosmo Cosmopolitan fashion or sunglasses or clothes, but when it came to eating a Cosmopolitan product, that was a step too far. Now, the brand extension strategy can and has worked for many different brands, but as with anything in branding, it's all about understanding your audience. It's all about understanding who they are, what they want, and more specifically, what they want from your brand and what role you play in their lives. So if you're considering a brand extension strategy, very strongly consider who your audience is, consider what they want and consider whether or not they would accept you playing a specific role within their lives. If you don't know, ask, but make sure you get that confirmation before you go all in. Because if you get it wrong, it could lead to a broken relationship with your audience and lost brand equity. What you should be doing is growing brand equity. If you want to know what brand equity is and how to grow it, then this video will help you out. Until next time, brand like a master, and I'll see you in the next video.